Hey everyone, welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077. Last time out, we investigated a case of a disappearing corpse under a highway. That thing was there. I went back and checked. I wasn't actually hallucinating. And then we went to go and pick up a family heirloom. Uh, Rogue gave us a call and informed us that Bess Isis, aka Nancy of uh, Samurai fame, actually has a son and he had contacted her to try and get his ride back that he'd um, rather carelessly misplaced as well as the one-of-a-kind bootleg samurai record that was in the back and uh, we also picked up a pair of Johnny's shoes which I need to check out in just a moment and uh, yeah that was a, um, a bit of an interesting job and I realized it actually put us I thought I recognized this place when I uh, signed off last time right opposite the ripper dock that is outside the Paralysis place. Now, I highly doubt they're going to invite me in for a cup of tea. In fact, I highly doubt that they're still around after uh, what they discovered about the place. Yeah, <laughs> the the door lock is actually completely shut off. So yeah, that's a pretty good indication that they're no longer home. Now, this, I believe, is uh, the, the Ripper Dock, who is the, the Russian granddaughter of uh, the old owner, if I remember correctly. Have a little look. Yes, oh, that's exactly who I thought it was. Right, let's see if she's got anything new. Remember, we hit uh, street cred level 50 not too long ago. Let's have a little look and see what we've got. I'd very much like to upgrade my sa <laughs> Hello. Um, right. So we do have an upgrade to the cyber deck here. Um, 10 base RAM, 8 buffer size, 6 slots. So we'd have one extra buffer slot if we got this... Tetratronic Rippler Mark IV. It sounds more like a, some sort of intimate toy than a uh, than a cyber deck, but uh, also let me see. Reduces RAM cost of ultimate quick hacks by three. Nice, we've got a few quick hacks actually. That would be well worth it. We need twenty intelligence though, and that makes me sad. Now, uh, something that I did mention before, I don't do enough with Ripper Dogs is checking out what they've got to trade. We've got. Uh, Animals knuckles for gorilla arms. Crafting spec for a high capacity battery. I still don't really know what these batteries are for. Oh, hello, this is new. Monowire thermal damage. Rare thermal damage. Now we do have, let's see what that crafting spec, 6750. That might be worth it, actually. Our monowire at the moment is vastly underutilized. Let's take a look and see what we've uh, what we've actually got. Because we do have, uh, what am I even looking for? Here we go. We do have, yeah, we've got a thermal damage monowire. Oh, that's that's rare grade. Hmm, okay. Let's, uh, not, not actually of any use then, if we've already got one. Uh, hmm, okay. Was there anything else of interest? We've got some frontal cortex gear. That's all low level. Circular tree. No, I think this is pretty much all base level stuff um yeah there's not really much advantage to any of this gear um okay yeah it looks like we might be wasting our time <laughs> that's very sad all right uh skeleton anything there's eight eight items on offer surely something's got to be worth it no nope, not a dicky bird oh they do have they do have legendary synaptic signal optimizer and epic micro rotors, but they all uh, require high level reflexes. Okay, never mind. Right, whilst we're here. Uh, no, I was trying to open the door. Thank you and good day. Whilst we're here, let's take a look at uh, this new gear that we've actually picked up. We've got a couple of Johnny's, um, Johnny's items around, haven't we? Did we pick up a shirt or a, a jacket or something? No, I don't think so. T shirt, maybe? Um. No, we definitely picked up some shoes, though. Ah, here we go. Right, Johnny's shoes. Uh, oh, to spend a day in the shoes of a legend. Let me see, what do they offer? They've got one empty clothing mod slot. Um, I wonder if Johnny says anything if we're wearing his clobber. Wait, hold on. Oh, no. Oh, look at that. Yorinobu Arasaka's now appearing on Arasaka's... Um... Marketing gear. Oh, my God. Enough to make you sick, isn't it? Um, right. I mean, as, as suave as they are, they're not really adding anything to the look. And in fact, they're detracting from our um, from our overall resistances. So, 
Let's get the normal shoes back on. Uh, it would be very good to remember that we're carrying this gear, though. Did we? I'm sure we picked up... Ah, Johnny's pants. Excellent. Right, they have an empty clothing mod slot. Huh. Yep, that's definitely his sort of look. Um, but again, kind of detracting from the overall uh, protection level that we've got at the moment. Especially seeing as these trousers uh, increase our stamina regen by 25%. Okay, let's get a bearing on uh, on what we're actually doing and, and where we're going in life. So I would like to go and visit River at some point, but seeing as it's about 3 o'clock in the morning, it's probably not reasonable. Uh, we do have... Yeah, we've got a vehicle to pick over here. Um, sex on wheels. Now, this is off the back of... Um, oh, crap. What's his name? Jake, was it? I think it was Jake giving us a call. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, Jake Estevez. He gave us a, a call and... Um, that's the wrong button. It's not how you operate a motorcycle. There we go. And said that he'd uh, he'd left Night City, but he'd left behind a, uh, a was it a Quadra Turbo? I think he'd left. So we're going to pick that up. Then I think maybe it's time to head into Santo Domingo and pick up a couple of uh, couple of El Capitan's jobs. We've had a couple of his jobs lined up for a little while, actually. We strayed into the operational area of uh, of one or two little little uh, gigs that he had lined up and accidentally picked up his text messages so we'll see what they involve oh right across the road here oh listen to this thing purr. yes i do enjoy this bike if only there was some way to remove that damn mask off the front my life would be complete uh, right, it's right through here by the looks of things. <laughs> Don't mind me, chaps. Ooh. Ooh. Hello. Interesting. They seem to be guarding the thing. Um, we're not, we're not going to have any trouble here, are we, boys? Just admiring the wheels. My wheels. Get your hands off. Um, anything of interest in here? I don't think so. Nope. Uh, I'll just be uh, hopping into my car and driving off then. Ooh, look at you. Oh. <laughs> of course, the motor's in the back. That wasn't quite as impressive as uh, I anticipated. Ooh, hello. Quadra Turbo R. Ooh, check you. It's quite utilitarian on the inside, isn't it? Blimey, look at this thing. This is built for muscle and not for, uh, not for look. Oh, look, we've got a new bobblehead. <laughs> we've got a new little uh, beastie bobblehead. Wonderful. Where's the exit? <laughs> Hold on. We've got. What's that? Is that a rare level grenade in here? What have we got here? Oh, a recon grenade. I thought it might have been a, um, a crafting spec for something. Ooh, Jake's messaged again. Rides like a dream, doesn't she? Take good care of her. Thanks again. No, oh, thank you, Jake. Much appreciated. Right, let's get her out on the uh, get her out on the street. There we go. Right, better set ourselves an objective, I guess. Let's consult the map and see what jobs we have nearby. So I'd like to stay kind of in the region here so that we can whip round when uh, the sun comes up and uh, actually hopefully speak to River face to face. Uh, so let's see, we've got an agent saboteur, SOS Merc needed and a mystery job. Okay, they're all danger moderate. So I fancy getting a little bit, uh, getting a little bit loud. Let's go for the agent saboteur job. Oh. Oh, this thing packs a punch. This is a little bit more, uh, a little bit more grunt to it than a regular Quattro. Very nice indeed. Of course, Jake was, uh, Padre was saying that Jake is a renowned tinkerer and, uh, and chew engine whisperer, as it were, tuning up rides to, uh, the nth degree. So it makes sense that one of his custom rides is, uh, a little bit of a monster. Oh, hello. We're going in through uh, 
through a building here by the looks of it. Ah, El Capitan. Lay it on me, sir. Yo V. Check it. There's a site on the net how to smear the mayor. Well then hold. Okay. Well, the acting mayor, because you know he's up for election or whatever. Your politics on my right. <laughs> but slinging never stops. Not for a minute. Anyhow, my client wants that site sucked into the cold vacuum of cyberspace. <laughs> Scan the brief if you need more info. Yeah, I'll take a few more details. Thank you very much. Right, that looked like a 6th Street guy in there. Let's take a look. So, Agent Saboteur, bring down propaganda machines slandering world and halt. As much as I would like to promote <laughs> anything and anybody, um... Tarnishing World and Holt's good name. Had to think of what I was saying there. Um, I suppose we, we do need to do this for uh, El Capitan. Politics. Only thing slimier than the thumbs it licks. Oh, oh God. El Capitan, you had to open with that one. At least Corpos usually tell you to your face how they're going to screw you in the end. Fake smiles, impossible promises, shapeless pondering. All foreplay till they fuck you in the ass and pay themselves for it with Eddie's out of your wallet. It's in their nature. And what's his ass? What's in ours? Blowing shit up. <laughs> now you're talking my language. Got just such a gig for you this time. Sixth Street's got a stiffy Jefferson Perales. Uh, hold on. Sixth Street's got a stiffy... Is that supposed to be for Jefferson Perales? So they have these servers pumping out anti-Holt propaganda. They see Perales becoming mayor as like the second coming of Abraham Lincoln or some shit. Here to unite the city with the NUSA. Naive gonks. TLDR, my client wants Sixth Street's propaganda machine gone. Simple. Now, that's something I'd never even considered. I suppose it would make sense, given their um, gun-toting nature. Ooh, where's this? Mega Building 7. Okay. Closed for business by the looks of it. It's all shuttered up. Um, yeah, giving their gun-toting nature and uh, sort of ura outlook on life, I suppose it would make sense that uh, some of Jefferson's more recent publicity stunts would appeal to them. Um... Right, let's tell you what, let's turn that one off. And we'll control this one. Right, let's uh, have a little looky around. So, we've... Oh, hello. As if you've got a turret on the go. Okay. Get you tagged. Get you tagged. Oh, another one over there. Tag up all of the fools. Anything through here? Doesn't look to be. Okay. Uh, is this some sort of... This like this is some sort of lock-up compound. Tag. Tag. And tag. Now. Sixth Street. Hmm. What? Ho oh, hold on. Is there any of the... Is there any of the three cameras? Okay. That's kind of, uh... Kind of limiting. Um... How do we feel about Sixth Street? So, personally, I've got no beef with Sixth. Um, they're not the friendliest of folks, but I'd like to take them out non-lethally if at all possible. All right, let's get this chap away Hello? from the door. Who's there? All right, let's get a scan on you. You've got brake hold? No, you've not. Mm. Come here, you. Oh, let's hug it out. All right, what do you got on you? Uh, all right, just a sight. Stash you away. I'm getting into the habit now of patting people down before we actually stash them into hidey holes. Because a couple of times now, I've had an issue whereby you stuff bodies into um, boxes or wardrobes or whatever, and any shards that they have on them are rendered unreadable. Right, what have we got here? Outage from Jim Connors to Zach Ginther. I'm not a goddamn miracle worker. Told you that your infrastructure couldn't handle that much juice. Jesus, Zach, it's Militech tech, top shelf. All wired to rage war so no one gets blown up because of some Militech lag. Their machines need to eat and they got big appetites. I redirected all the vaults we got to Garage 66. Ooh, but without any more generators, my hands are tied. So either get me more or expect outages. J. Right, okay, so 6th Street looks like they've holed up some Militech server technology, presumably, in Garage 66. That must be what's pumping out all of this anti-Holt propaganda. 
Loyal supporter and concerned citizen, Kristen Lynch to Jefferson Perales campaign. Why is that rooted through to here? Dear Team Perales, I'm a huge Jeffernut, and I can assure you his words are reaching the ears and hearts of voters. The campaign you're running on the net is making me most excited for a candidate I've ever been. Oh, I see. So she's taken... Well, presumably these guys have set themselves up as the Jefferson Perales campaign because they're uh, apparently fighting for his corner. Especially your campaign side. Keep up the great work. However, one thing that has me concerned that I haven't seen a solution for in your policy positions is the recent black blight that has infested our city's schools. I don't like where this is going. This issue is very near and dear to me, and I would be grateful if you would forward it on to Mr. Perales. Namely, does he intend to stop the recent flood of illicit black market brain dances into our schools? Okay, I thought that was going in a very different direction. Our children are being exposed to all sorts of disgusting and evil material at an age that is formative and critical to their personal growth into decent citizens. Now, I've done my homework and I know the research has proven the addictive nature of BDs. In adolescence, sometimes it takes just one brain dance to get them hooked. As a community, we need to act now. We need a mayor who will think of the children before they grow up and fill this city with a mass of neurotic, lust-driven, hyper-violent animals. <laughs> Have you looked outside recently? I think you're a bit late. Oh dear, Kristen. Bless you. I need your help. Oh, good Samaritan. Uh, let's turn off the cameras. Right. Uh, oh, we can jack in for some... No. Jack in for some Edwardians. Let's go and leech those whilst we can. Oh, hello. Looks like we could get a half-decent chain off of this. Certainly lines two and three. Let's go for that. Uh, E9. Can we do an E9, E9? E9, E9, 1C, 5, 5, BD. Easy. E9, E9, 1C, 5, 5, BD. Lovely. Right, onward. So we're looking for Garage 66. I wonder if that's where those goons are. This is a, this is a big old plot, isn't it? Blimey. Right. Have a little look. Those guys. Oh, those three goons are uh, hiding, holding over there. I'm thinking that might be our 66, maybe. I'm just trying to scan to see if that door is openable. I'm not seeing any green lights above it. Hmm. Maybe it'd be worth circling back round there to take them on uh, different, uh, separately. Right. I'm acutely aware. In fact, whilst we're passing, might as well use them to uh, spring a ping, as it were. Just to make sure there's no one else hiding out in any of these garages. I'm a bit suspect about this one open right in front of us. Uh, ooh. There are a few more goons. One uh, there. One there. One there. Any more? I think that's our lot. Mm, okay. Right. Grab a few more. Edwards? What can we string here? Uh... Ooh. If we're very, very good, we can string lines two and three again. <laughs> no, we can't because... No, that screwed that because we can't start off with a BD. Crap. Uh, let's just go for the top one. 1C7A, 1C7A. So 1C7A. 1C7A. Does that leave us anything? We could go with a 5555 BD. Okay. Lines one and three. Better than a kick to the... I was about to say something rather rude then. <laughs> jaw. That's what I was going to say. Better than a kick to the jaw. Uh, really? Entire lockup? Just one? Okay, fine. Right. Let's see. Anything in there that looks like uh, Militech equipment doesn't appear to be. Oh, wow. This is a proper little uh, rabbit warren around here, isn't it? Blimey. Oh, another open hatch there. All right, let's take a little look at you. You don't have brake hold. More fool you. Oh, shit. You're moving. No. Oh, my God. Jesus, that was close. <laughs> no one behind us. Good. Hey, the grab. Hey, slip. And can we close this can we <laughs> anyone yes we can right cool so we'll leave you here for now we can always just uh 
Close that down in a second. Grab these. Oh, hello. What is going on with... God, V, you might be twitchy in here. Do you know what? I'm just going to get out. Screw that access point. Oh, hello. Got a shard over here. And that is the telltale orange laser beam. Oh. Mom's in better shape than this. <laughs> Drive shaft's fucked. But the bearings will be new. Sandblasted. Still waiting on a new compressor. <laughs> She'll be ready to tear up the streets. That's an interesting looking building. Whoa! <laughs> Sorry, was just uh, observing the skyline. Silly me. Right, let's go and chase him down before he... Uh, goes and causes any damage. Oh, I'm a little bit worried that that thing might see us if we sneak around this corner. No, we're good, I think. Uh, let's see. You don't have brake hold. That's very fortuitous. Oh, I could have got him with the boxes, damn it. Oh, I knew there was a reason this was open. Grab. And it's been... Snip. Descend into your restless slumber. Uh, nothing of interest. Though. Wait, hold on. Hold on just a cotton-picking minute. Is this not the guy? That's the, that's the guy, the Sarge that was sat down giving the orders for the shooting competition when there was that big party going on. <laughs> How bizarre. Oh. Nope. Wait. Oh no, have you got people posted on the roof? You have. Damn it. Right. Schlip. That's who spotted us when I went round that, uh, that other corner. Right, let's quickly gallop over here. Make our way back round. He should be snoozing on rather shortly. I did not spot him. Oh. That turret is panning now, I think. It wasn't panning before. Will you sleep already? Bye-bye. <laughs> hmm. Maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. I'm not entirely sure. Let's, uh... Oh, do we want to put it friendly mode? Should we do that? I've got... Uh... I've got nothing against the six streeters. No, I'm going to shut it down because if I'm going to go around and actually, um... Oh, oh, a nefarious plot has just hatched in my brain. Let's get this turned off. We'll scan these two as well while we're at it. To see if they've got a uh, brake hole. There's no brake hole there. None there. Might as well scan these two. No, we might as well not because I can't see it. Interestingly, there's a guy actually working on the thing right now. And he hasn't even noticed it. It's been switched off. Ah, oh, poo. I was going to see if I could circle around to get that guy because he might see me. I suppose I should actually scan to see if there's anyone else on the rooftops. <laughs> it doesn't look like there is. Oh, that's telling, actually. The fact that the, the sniper was on that rooftop means that might be the building with the kit that we're after. Um, I want to see if I can sneakily up on this guy. Make sure we haven't missed anybody. I think we're good. Sneakily up on this guy, because I'm worried he's going to see me if I go and approach... Uh, sorry, this girl, I should say. Um might see me if I go and approach um, the two people working on that turret. Come with me, my dear. Let me whisk you away to a... Uh, to quite a dark place, actually. You get a lot of rest. Uh, anything on you? No. Hmm. Nowhere to hide her, though. Slightly concerning. Um. Okay. I suppose it's not essential. I don't think the guys around the corner are going to go wandering anywhere anytime soon. Right, let's uh, slidey up. Oh. Whoa. Okay, that's not great. Oh no, they're both on the move. Okay. 
Let's see if we can't follow you. Take you out of the equation sooner rather than later. Come here. Put that away. I know what you were getting out. Uh oh. Right, that's you down. Nothing of interest on you. That guy over there spotted me as uh, I was rounding the corner. You don't have brake hold. That's fine. Where did... Ah, you're there. I think you might turn around and make a move, though, any second now. Let's see if there's anything I can try and distract you with. Aha! Isn't this interesting? Go. Uh oh. Oh, they're on the move. Why are they on the move? Fuck. Right, we might have to go loud here. Oh crap, they see the body. What the? Hmm. Screw it. Out comes Skippy. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> nope. Jump! <laughs> okay. All right, let's take it. Let's just take a second here. Well, at least we thinned out the numbers a little bit, I guess. Um, this is our city. Ours. Right. Well, speaking of my uh, my nefarious little plan, let me uh, let me divulge some details. I was thinking, <laughs> seeing as we're going to have taken or sort of incapacitated a number of how are you get flank attack how are you get a flank from down there um see as we're gonna have taken out a number of uh, of people by incapacitating them we could boost skippy's kill numbers by uh, going around and popping some bullets into skulls afterwards it's a little bit cruel but um efficient Right, you sit down, please. Sit. There we go. That's another one down. There we go. There's another one sat down. Come on, Skippy. Let's have a little leisurely walk down to the other end of the uh, the building here. Why not? Oh. <laughs> How have you lost me? Come to Papa. Oh, he was easy. Hello. Yeah, don't stop. <laughs> Slightly creepy skip. Whoa! <laughs> Did you see that? He just blindly shot round the corner. That's crazy. Aha! Got the advantage. Nice. Now you. Liberty or death? Uh, death then. <laughs> For you, at least. Unless you want to take my special brand of liberty, liberating you of functional kneecaps. No? Not interested? Alright. Made a choice. Now. <laughs> I face a little bit of a, um, <laughs> dilemma. <laughs> <laughs> I need to boost Skippy's kill numbers because uh, it was recently discovered or, or pointed out by Robert in the comments, uh, thank you very much, that I've been doing Skippy all wrong. Um, I need to get kills with Skip, not incapacitations. Oh, but it's 6th Street. I'm. <clears throat> but they revealed that they are taking payoffs and they are in league with Militech. I think that qualifies them as scum. Good night. Oh god, this is evil. <laughs> Message to user. Thanks, you better appreciate this, Skip. Oh god, going around executioner style. This feels. Fun fact: the human body holds between feels all wrong. Oh no. Oh, hello, my dear. Yes, yeah, sorry. You know, you know, I said about how you'd uh, you'd get to lay down and, and rest and stay out of all this. Yeah, sorry. That's uh, that was a complete lie. Oh my word! What is this city doing to me? Right, hold on. I need to find the others that I had uh, incapacitated in various locations. Aha! Right. Well. Oh. Oh, he was in the cupboard, wasn't he? 
Yeah, I don't, I don't think that's how that works. And then we've just got this one... Uh... Oh no, so I stuffed him into a box, didn't I? Okay. <laughs> you escape, Sarge. Just this once. Uh, are you still alive? I think you are. Okay. Not for long. Yeah, sorry about that. Good night. Um, are you... Wait. I don't actually know if that person was alive or dead. They look pretty uncomfortable either way. Alright, let's see if we can't track down anything of interest. Okay. Can't see any Militech gear in here. Uh, object ah, there it is. There we go. The objective mark is pointing us straight into a room full of uh, quite obvious server racks if I'd actually opened my eyeballs. Hello there. Um, sorry, ap apologies for this. This is all in uh, all in pursuit of a quest, you see. Needs must. Oh, come on, Skippy. <laughs> we can't need much more, surely. Uh, apparently, the target is 100 kills with Skippy. Seeing as I've been avoiding killing all along, I'm probably only up to about five. Oh, well. It'll soon swing round. We've just got to... Uh, exercise our bloodthirsty side as opposed to being a puppy loving pacifist all the time I guess. Right, look at this, yeah here we go, serious hardware in, uh, is this even labelled? Yep, yeah, 66. Oh, appropriate for 6th Street to have 66 I guess. This is quite the, uh, quite the setup. Right, let's take a look, an archive conversation between Jordan M and Dustin. That Kang shard? Figured it out. What's on it? Schematics. Iron? Smart iron. Prototypes already checked. Not on the market. Then time to buzz Militech, see how many eddies we're sitting on. Yes, okay, that kind of justified my actions a little bit. They were um, doing deals with Militech and uh, I don't approve of that. Oh no, I... Oh, damn. I didn't mean to install the malware straight away. I wanted to look for messages. Hopefully we can still access it. We nail one asshole Whoa. to the wall and another oh. rises up in the polls. Politics is fucking usual. Hmm. Oh, sorry, Johnny, but I don't have time for your little anarchist revolution. Yeah? Well, it'd be easier than slicing heads off a fucking Hydra. <laughs> One more reason this city could use another nuke. It's maybe slightly drastic measures. <laughs> oh, damn, I missed the messages. Oh, that's annoying. Um, right, okay, um, let's, let's leave this bloodbath behind. I, I, I'm not entirely sure I, uh, I have proof of my own actions here, but, oh well, done now. Oh, goody, another relic. Oh, shit! Yes, indeed. You did it, V. Just got word that virus is blazing toward the servers like a fucking asteroid. Prim work. Thanks. Closing the gig. Yeah, I don't feel great about taking down an anti-halt movement, but, uh, hmm, oh well. Pays the bills, I guess. Let's take a look and see what we've got up next. Uh, so, it's about 6.30 in the morning, so probably a little bit too early still to visit River. Let's go and take on one job more. Let's see where that leads us. In fact, you know what, it's only a few hundred meters away, isn't it? As much as I, uh, as much as I do like you, Quadra, I, I could do is stretching my legs. And, uh... <laughs> Possibly walking off the guilt of the actions I've just carried out. Let's see, where's this taking us? Um, garage isn't open, is it? No. This mega building looks very much closed to the public. Uh, where is this actually leading us? Surely we can just hop over the fence. Let's, uh... Hello. Okay, this is higher than I had anticipated. Um... Oh, there we go. Nice. All right. Oh, hello. We're getting into the... Oh, wow. Look where we are. We're really getting into uh, Rancho Coronado now, aren't we? There's the Petrochem Dam. So this is leading us to... What? That house? Um, okay. Right, colour me intrigued. What's going on? Going away party. No, v got a guy looking to be extracted out of NC pronto, or else it's his funeral. Oh. Need me a decent driver who won't shit their pants when things get hairy. Oh, now we're talking. What do you think? 
Check the spec. Yes. I am in. Nice. SOS Merc needed. Rescue Flavio Dos Santos from Malagra Street. Sixth Street got shaken up with an internal coup. The boss took a bullet in the back of the head. Wow. The guy who filled his shoes was the same who pulled, pulled the trigger. They call him Gunner. We've heard of Gunner. So that same party where um, that Sarge guy was calling the shots with the, um, the, the, uh, the gun competition, they referenced the new guy at the top, Gunner. So I didn't realize Gunner had literally gunned down the previous Sixth Street boss. Okay. The new bossman has unleashed a purge to rid the gang of all the people loyal to the last chief. My client, Flavio, is next in line to get shot, and he'd very much like to skip town. Yeah, I, I can see where he's got that idea from. Yeah, I'd, I'd agree. Already struck a deal with the nomads who agreed to ship him to the other coast. Oh, wow. <laughs> he really wants to get away, doesn't he, if they're shipping him all the way east? All you have to do is escort Flavio to the place their guide will pick him up. Little problem to note, there's already a price on our friend's head, so he's got to watch it. Sending you the coordinates of where Flavio is holed up. You need to get there, load him into your ride, and deliver him to the Nomads ASAP. Our ride? It's our ride that's going to get shot up? Okay, I better prime a vehicle before I go in, I guess. Keep your iron at the ready, and don't forget to always check your mirrors. Sixth Street gave him a death sentence, so any tails on his ass are likely to be hot. Ooh. Right. Um. <laughs> I guess we've got a decision to make, then. Do we go for speed? Or do we go for armor? Um, I suppose for speed, we'd, we'd have to go with a Rayfield Caliburn, wouldn't we? Um, probably Merc Mans, I guess, because it's the most <laughs> it's the most low profile as, as low profile a Caliburn can be. Uh, Sixth Street, hate those bastards. Vomit lofty patriotic bullshit all day. Act like fucking animals. Whoa. Uh, yeah, I see what you mean. Jeez. Whoa. What the hell? Are you for real? Who the hell was this? Reza Camargo. No criminal record. What the fuck, dude? Oh my god, the temptation to put this guy down is unreal. No way. No, I... No, I, I can't let this guy stand. This... Oh, man. I'm going to drop a quick save. This is probably going to fail me this mission before we even get it started, but... Whoa, hold on. Alright then. Screw you. What can we land on you? Uh, memory wipe, I guess. What an absolute bellend. Oh, of course it affects both of them, doesn't it? Screw you! Oh. Alright, let's put him down anyway. You're oh you're not actually paying any attention now he's down. Interesting. You better pray I don't find you. Oh yes you are. Ah, oh, screw it. Sit! Alright, let's hit him down. Whoa! Easy! Okay. Maybe bit off a bit more I can shoot him. <laughs> right. Let's, uh, let's take this down systematically. <laughs> let's see. Can we burn us a few more Six Streeters? Hmm. We could probably do another... Oh, no, we can't do another system reset for another 30 seconds. Okay, I need some cover. Um... Whoop. What weapon have you got on you? Gl something's glowing blue on this guy. Right, I just gotta hope no, <laughs> no one calls any uh, backup. Because if they call back up right in the middle of Ramco, I'm screwed. That's him now. Reloading. Really need to craft some more ammo as well when I get the opportunity. Sit. New magazine detected. Fire. Message to use. Thanks. 
sit down. Do not get back up. There we go. Uh oh. Think that was a six streeter. Not the right button. No, crafting's out. That was definitely a six streeter. Oh man, we're running out of. Uh, we're running out of skippy bullets. Oh, someone down there. Aha! Please be weak. Yes, he's weak. <laughs> nice. Oh, we're out of combat. Excellent. Let's quickly craft up some more ammo. Awesome. Gives us the chance to reload Skippy. Nice. Looks like they were not associated with our guy on the uh, on the inside here. So he's still holed up in the building somewhere. <laughs> okay. Um, right then. Uh, this is all for you, my dear. Right, we'll start off with the main perpetrator that's triggered it all. This was all your fault. Fun fact. The human brain remains active for up to several minutes after decapitation. <laughs> Thanks for that, Skippy. Oh, hello. We've got an archive conversation between Alamo and B. Gather your team. We're on, on our way. What's going on? Flavio, we got him. Oh, <gasps> were they here for Flavio? Shit, someone tip you off? Yeah, pimp from the alcove. Someone ordered a platoon of joy toys and a truckload of drugs to the flop house up, up in Rancho. It's been empty for years for a leaving party. <laughs> they gave it away. Wow, sounds like our boy Flavio. Exactly. Bastard was always a sleazebag. Cool. He wants a leaving party? We give him a party of a lifetime. Oh... <laughs> oh no hold on oh she was a joy toy she was a joy toy I get this I bet this guy was a joy toy as well oh I want part of Flavio's gang and 6th Street rocked up to uh, to take him out because uh, because he was sorry um oh hold on is there someone let, let me just get by there we go that's better um Right, so Flavio's crew, yeah, presumably no that guy over there and maybe this one, um, were here to give him a, a good send-off. Oh, wait, we can go under the house? What? Okay. Um, <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, no. Bad news. Let's get inside. <laughs> I think I might have uh, might have stirred up the hive here. Oh, there we go. They've dropped it. Thank goodness for that. All right, where can we actually go? So, yeah, his tombs were organizing a leave. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm so scared. <laughs> Just stay here and stay quiet, for Christ's sake. You'll be fine. Um, where is this? Okay. Looks like this might just be used to access the other side of the building, I guess, more than actually get in. Right, let's uh, scrape a few Edwards. Uh, let's just go for line three. E9, 1C, BD, 5, 5. Uh, where are the E9s? Okay, E9, 1C. Right, there we go. E9, 1C, BD, 5, 5. There we go. That's cleared us out. Let's explore a little bit more. Are there any floor hatches in here? Can't see anything. Uh oh. There's someone out here. Sounded like there was. Whoa! Uh, I'm I'm kind of very slightly stuck in the ceiling. What's going on? Um, <laughs> that's not meant to happen. Oh no! A thing happened. Can I, can I sort of zoom and, and scoot to the outside? No. Oh no, bad things. Bad things happened. Can I go this way maybe and, oh. Oh, we're out. <laughs> okay, that was just weirdness. Um, right, you know what, screw it. Oh, we can break fence. Maybe through a back door or a side window. No, because there's glass in there, okay. Uh, porch? 
Here we go. Oh no. Oh, you sons of bitches. Look, shot him in the back while they were running. Too bad wow. God's dead. I mean, Old Testament God. One who'd fire and brimstone the whole fucking bunch. <laughs> Yeah, I don't feel so bad for taking those guys out now. Not at all. Well, I felt bad anyway after he just gunned down a joy toy in the middle of the, in the middle of the street. I can hear a camera. Oh, hello. Good job, that's uh, that's busted. Um. Oh God, there's another one over there. What? All right, nothing of interest there. No computers are there. Nope. Right, we'll leave the access points. I'm not that desperate for. Uh, Oh, shit. Not that desperate for Eddie's. Let's see what we got in here. Couple of messages. Leaving town from El Capitan to Flavio. Got the person who's going to bust you out of the city. Headed to you now. Got to hurry because six streets on your heels. Don't let anyone in. Don't turn on the lights. Don't go on the net. Don't answer any calls, El Capitan. <laughs> Don't call a platoon of joy toys and a shipment of drugs. Uh, anyway. Oh, okay, I thought that might have been a secret lever. Um, a la Anthony Harris's place. We've got to try and track down Flavio's little, uh, little hidey hole. Hmm, presumably there were six streeters in this, uh, in this building before we drew them out with gunfire. Oh, hello. Oh, this is where we could have got in. Okay, that makes some sense now. Uh, there's the gr- Please, don't kill me! Holy Jesus! Do you mind? You scared the bejesus out of me. Just stay down and keep your voice down. Christ almighty. Um. All right, any resistance up here, I wonder? Should probably be a little bit uh, more stealthy than this, I guess. Just in case there are any um, filthy Sixth Streeters lurking. No, looks like the coast is clear. Ooh, I just realized they called the Joy Toys and oh, this is the environment that they were um, utilizing their services in. Yeesh. Right. Aha! Fuck. Oh. Goddamn bloodbath in here. Oh, dearie me. I feel we might be a tad late. Um, <laughs> let's just uh, close that over and say no more about it for now. More joy toys littering the place. I don't think there was anything of interest around here. As far as I could tell. Oh my god. Oh my god. Seriously. Right. Close this over as well. Because this looks like... Oh. Okay, we can't close the door. Looks like this leads straight into that bedroom. Holy crap. No wonder this place was abandoned for so long. Must be awful to keep warm in the winter. Jesus, Johnny. <laughs> You've ever seen anything like this? Holy crap. Um, multiple gunshot wounds. Blind fire from an automatic weapon. So, holy crap. A si well, that might be a good thing, actually. It means a Sixth Streeter came in here, just blindly sprayed the place with bullets and then made, out, made off. Guessing that could potentially mean they left someone alive. Oh, hello. What have we got here? Six Streets Armor Plated Combat Jacket. Ooh. That's worth a look. That looks pretty beefy. Right. Let's do some more scans. Hmm. Flavio. Hey, that's your tomb, isn't it? Oh, he's unconscious. He's alive. Fuckers like that always land on their feet. <laughs> Woof. Right. Um. Let's... Let's leave him just for a moment, see if we can't piece anything else together. Joy toy. Another joy toy. No, okay. Right, take these eddies. These poor unfortunate souls won't be needing them anymore. Um, <laughs> here's me just nimbly leaping over bodies as we go. Hey, you hear me? Oh god. I didn't even think he'd be able to get up. Oh, fuck. Sixth Street, they... I know. Flavio, right? That you? Yeah. Oh, you've got to... Got to get me out of here. So I hear. The hell happened. All you had to do was sit on your ass. 
quiet alone. Yeah, yeah, but just wanted to say goodbye to the city, you know. <laughs> so I ordered in some girls, some boosters. The city nearly said like, goodbye to you. What, and you thought nobody would notice? Call in half the hookers in the city, nobody will bat an eye? Okay, okay. I fucked up. <laughs> I know. The fuck's it matter now? We have to go. Come on, then. You don't say. Fine. We're out. Ow. Oh, shit. Am I going to have to carry you? Girls in the garage. Oh, take me there. Oh, no, that's right. He's getting on his feet. I think. Just about. Right. Just in case Sixth Street's on the way. You follow him. Come on. Oh god, there's another one. Alright, so far so good. Are you actually coming? There he comes. Whoa, blinding light. Oh, we're gonna run straight over that poor Joy Toy's corpse. Holy crap. Okay. Come on, Flat. Oh, he's already there. Bloody hell, that was quick. You've got the cords. <laughs> oh, got him. oh, oh, that's grim. Shit, oh, I just wanted a little fun. Quick, <laughs> ripen. You're alive, unlike the girls. Oh, I just realised we were supposed to take our own car, weren't we? Oh, well, never mind. Suppose it doesn't. Oh, wait, here? Wait, what? Uh. Seriously? Oh, right. I thought it was going to be, like, taking him out of town or something. Uh. Talk to the nomad. Why is it always a... Why am I leaving him? Over here. Yeah, why am I leaving him exposed all the way over there? This feels all wrong. Okay, he's got his nomad car at the ready. Where is the client? All the way over there. <laughs> In the back, bleeding out. Shit. If he dies... I don't get paid. Not my problem. Did my part. Um, I, I don't feel right about him being all the way over there. This just feels all different flavors of wrong. Um, wait, what? What happens now? Is he? To a ripper, okay. A few minutes away. Oh. You hang in there. <laughs> no choice. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well. I guess I completed my part. El Capitan, some payment, now please. That's what I call pro merc work. Flavio's yapping my ears off, says he's never met anyone tougher than you. <laughs> Bet it's gonna stay that way for a while. Rare breed, mercs like you. Contract's closed. I'll already flick the heads your way. How does he know how mean I am? I, I literally just, like, walked him down the stairs and drove him around the corner. <laughs> Okay, that's fine. Um, uh, any eddies are good eddies, I guess, as long as they're landing in my uh, electronic pocket. Right, guys, thank you very much. That's about all we've got time for. Thank you so much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. Um, it's an interesting little diner here. And if you'd like to leave a like or you care to leave a comment, please do so down below. Uh, go and smack them into the relevantly shaped orifices. And if you'd like to join the conversation, pop on over to the Discord. It'd be great to see you there. And uh, until next time, take care of yourselves, and I'll catch you then. Bye-bye.